Number nine, people with the spirit of Jezebel, listen to this, you guys. They are very jealous. They are insecure and competitive. I put in parentheses. Deep down, he or she does not feel good about themselves and operates from a spirit of bitterness, hatred, and anger. So look, even though these people make you think they, you know, they, they, they for you, they got your best interest, you know, really deep down, they are jealous of you, they are insecure, they are competing against you, and they don't feel good about themselves. So this person really got bitterness on the inside of them. They really got hatred against you and they got anger against you. Number 10, they are very manipulative and controlling. Very manipulative and controlling. Number 11, their victims are like puppets on a string. You guys, I gotta, I gotta talk about this one. Their victims are like puppets on a string. I put in parentheses. Many are being used to carry out that person's dirty work or evil workings and their victims don't even realize it and can't identify. It. I got to break this one down. So look, what do I mean by that? Listen to this. Their victims are like puppets. So when somebody is operating with the spirit of Jezebel and you are their victim, it's like you got strings on you. And however they move you, you know how a puppet be? They move you up or down. They, they move you. You like a puppet to them. They tell you to go left, you go left. They tell you to go right, you go right. Whatever they tell you to do, you like a puppet on the string to them. Some people that operate with the spirit of Jezebel will have the victim act out their evil work. And the victim don't even realize what they're doing. Because they're controlling them. It's mind control. So they will have their victim carry out their dirty work or evil workings and the victim don't even realize it and they can't even identify it. Number 12, whenever you have a person operate in the spirit of, with the spirit of Jezebel, number 12, definitely, they definitely have an Ahab or Ahabs around them. Listen, when somebody is functioning with the spirit of Jezebel, they got an Ahab accompany them. They got, they got a yes, some, yes, some person around them. They got somebody who, who not finna open their mouth. They not finna check them. They not finna put them in their place. That, that person scared of them too. They pretty much running over that person. And look, I got to say this too. There is a spirit. There is a spirit that's happening in the church and in the body of Christ where you have men that are Ahabs. I'm not just talking about in a regular marriage. How can you have a person who is an apostle and the wife is following that, that, that apostle, but the wife is overpowering that man? When he's supposed to be the headship, if he's the apostle, how are you overpowering that man of God if he's the apostle? You got that happening a lot in churches where the man just got the title, but the woman is really... She's running everything. She's running everything. You guys, I'm telling you, if y'all don't see this spirit or see what's really going on, you got people that just gave their spouse the title, but they really doing the work of what the person supposed to be doing that they gave the title to. Just so it can look good, they gave the husband the apostle title, and they gave themselves the prophetess, but they doing the work of the apostle, and the apostle just sitting there ain't doing nothing. He just sitting there. He letting the wife do what he's supposed to be doing. Like he don't have authority. So you have people that they have Ahabs. You will see it where that person is controlling and they got the people around them that are Ahabs that are allowing it. Number 13. This spirit has its victims ensnared, captive, bound up, and coiled up, C-O-I-L-E-D, in a vicious web. Now, when I think about this, I think about a spider, you guys. When insects and bugs get caught up in a web, they can't get out. It's hard to get out of a web. When you're caught up in a web spiritually, when you're bound up in a web, it's going to take some serious warfare and deliverance to get you out that web. It's going to take some serious deliverance 
when you caught up in this type of web with Jezebel. Listen, this spirit number 14 will keep you isolated from them for themselves and for their own personal gain and motives. You will see people with this spirit. They'll try to keep you from people that they, you know, this spirit will keep you from uh, other people that they know will discern that they got that spirit. So they try to isolate you so they can control you. You know, and I have to say this, this spirit is so subtle that it'll make you think, it'll, it'll try to mess with you psychologically and say, you're not submitting. Hold up. How you not submitting? This spirit will play mind games and tell you you're not submitting. How you not submitting when you've been doing everything they wanted you to do? They're controlling you. You're giving up your life to do what this person wants for you. How are you not submitting? This is a psychological game that this spirit will play. Oh, you're not submitting because your eyes are opening now. Because now you're seeing this spirit for what it is. They'll play this game and say you're not submitting. Okay. Number 15, they will hinder and stunt your spiritual growth, development, and advancement. This will also negatively affect you emotionally, mentally, and physically. This spirit will drain you, you guys. The spirit of Jezebel will mess you up emotionally. It'll mess you up mentally and spiritually. Because remember, I told you in the beginning, they really don't have your best interest because it's all about them. So they don't want they don't want to see you grow in whatever area. I'm not just talking about church. I'm even talking about people in relationships. This spirit don't want to see you go nowhere. This spirit don't want to see you advance. So they will hinder you. They will stunt your growth because it's not about you. It's about them. Okay, I think I'm on number 16. Okay, this spirit seeks out and prays, P-R-E-Y-S. It seeks out and prays on, I put in parenthesis, especially and mainly the wounded, the rejected, the abused, those that are vulnerable and weak-minded. This spirit can and has captured and snared strong individuals as well as did its damage. This spirit of Jezebel, listen, when this spirit breaks you down and grooms you, listen, I'm going to talk about some stuff, y'all. Number 17, this spirit will remind you of everything they did for you, which was not done or given from a pure heart or sincere heart anyway, to make you feel bound up, obligated, and loyal to them. He or she will manipulate you and play mind games to force or keep that connection or tie with you where you are feeling fearful, feeling guilt, that's a big one, or feeling bad to leave them, to let them go and detach yourself. Again, it's about that dependency, you guys, and having full control of you. When you're dealing with a person with a Jezebel spirit, listen. They'll start off being there for you, you guys. They'll they'll give you things, you know, because again, they're grooming you. They they getting you ready. They getting you ready for that dependency. They getting you ready where you can lose that identity. Listen, once they you know start giving and they being there for you, this spirit got something to attack you with. Remember the beginning I talked about when you share personal information, they got all that now. They got all the information, private stuff you and told them. And look, if they had helped you, God know if they had helped you. If they ain't gave you stuff. So now when it gets to this part of that attack, they will remind you of everything they did for you, which was not done or given from a pure heart or sincere heart. Because the Bible says when we give to people, we, we need to release it. We, we should we, we shouldn't have to remind people what we did for them. We, we When we bless them, we let it go. Our hands is off of it now. That's between them and God. Listen, to make you feel bound up, obligated, and loyal to them. I've seen this so many times, you guys. Listen, I've seen this in ministries. I've seen it with people that do stuff for people, with people feeling scared. They don't, you know, they they scared to make decisions. They they scared if they do something, a person gonna get mad because they ain't gave them something. I'm not saying everything people give you is bondage, but some stuff, some stuff people bless you with, it's bondage. That that thing grooming you. They want you to feel loyal to them. They want you to feel like you're gonna owe them some later on. 
when they know they operate in the spirit. 